What's up? It's me, Croft Studios, and I'm here with another review of a set. And today I'm here with a Ninjago Booster Pack review. Lego Ninjago Bitar Booster Pack. It is set 9556. It is uh, ages 6 to 14, 25 pieces, and it retails for $4.99 comes with one minifigure and three weapons and a bunch of little accessories to go on your spinners. Um, you got the packaging right there. There's not really much to show on the packaging. Got the back. Not really much on there. So that's basically it for the packaging. So let's move on to our instructions. Okay, here's the instruction manual. You got Ninjago right there. Bitar. Um, you got simple little instructions. You got Lloyd's X spinner. I also have a review of that on my channel, so go check that out. And on the back, it shows you how to play the game and such. As the usual, what comes with the booster packs. So let's move on to the cards, and then we can actually move on to the actual Legos that come in the set. Okay, here are the cards you get with the Bytar booster pack. You get Bytar, of course. You get this ground attack card. That looks actually pretty cool. You get Chain Strike, like one of these types of cards are in like every booster pack. You get the Crown of Earth. That's a pretty cool card. And the final one is the Earthbound, and I guess this is the special gold card with the little trance type thing there. And you got Kai right there sinking in sand, I guess. So let's move on to our minifigure, which is Bitar. Okay, guys, here's Bitar, and he, I just have to say this, he's a really really awesome looking snake person I mean he's got really really cool head mold he's got his eye right there he's got a really cool looking mold on the back right there um, when you turn him around this way he's got a sort of messed up eye on that side it's sort of different and on the front um, you can see the detail right there and you do have some details on the top too so I'm going to take off his headpiece now so I can show you the better printing underneath. Okay, so here's Bitar's printing underneath the headpiece. And he has some pretty nice looking front printing right there. And once you move this around, you got some very cool looking back printing. as um, some little scales on there, I guess you could say. Um, but this figure looks really, really nice. I really think they did a great job on these Ninjago snakes that they've come out with. So they are pretty, really awesome. So we're going to move on to Bytar's weapons and accessories. Okay, here are Bytar's weapons that you get. You get a golden snake type thing. It's like a little snake. It's really nice looking in gold. Like I have a few other different colors of them, like red, white, green. But this gold one is really nice looking. It, um... I just think they get a, did a really good mold on this and stuff. It's a really cool looking weapon for Bytar. You get this weapon with the purple blades right there. I wish it wouldn't have been a brown stick they used right there. I wish it would have been like a gray type thing or maybe a silver. It, but it's an overall pretty cool looking weapon. It's a little big for Bytar, but yeah. And the last weapon is basically you know, a sword that you get in some of the older castle sets and that you get with the skeleton type people and they do have them on like staffs like this so it is a pretty cool looking weapon so let's move on to the accessories okay before I give the rating on the set I'm gonna have two special guest stars give their ratings subject Delta 0065 and Yoshi's Island 1000 they're both gonna give their ratings on the set and then I will give mine so let's start out okay so here's subject Delta 0065's rating on the set Quite a nice setup, I do say so myself. I'd say a solid eight. Okay, so he gives it an eight. So, what do you think of this set, Yoshi's Island 1000? So, I do agree with um, with Subject Delta 0065. I think this set could have had a little bit more into it, so I'd give it like a 7.5, 7.6. Okay, that made no sense, but okay. So, I'm going to give my rating on the set now. For this set, I'm going to have to give this set rating a 9.8. Now the only reason I have complaints about this set is really, I mean the cards are just not very professional. They're just like really weird. I really don't like the cards that much. The rock pieces could have been more detailed. Like they put, could have put some printing on the side of them or something like that maybe. 
But other than that, it's a really nice looking set. You do not get that many extra pieces either. That's a little flaw. But it is a really nice looking set. The figures are awesome. And I do also wish that the minifigure had big legs instead of little legs. So that's about it for this set, guys. Look for more LEGO reviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for my guest stars being in this video.